Hey everybody, it's me, and welcome back. Um, welcome for the first time if you are new. My name is B. I go by many names, but everybody calls me B um, because I have like pen names and stage names and stuff like that. But B is kind of like a common denominator uh, throughout all of those things. On my channel, I talk about, well, mostly I talk about writing. Um, sometimes I talk about gay stuff. And um, today I want to just kind of talk to you guys unscripted about something that is both writing and gay stuff. For those of you who don't know, I posted this on my Instagram at the beginning of the year in the wake of a significant loss in my life. Um, I picked a few things that I really wanted to make sure that I maintained throughout my grieving process because they were important to, are important to me. One of those things was that I wanted to start writing fanfiction again. Um, I used to write fanfiction. I never published any of it. I didn't really post it publicly or anything like that um, until last year. And I found kind of a little community through AO3 and Tumblr that is Star Trek oriented. For those of you who don't know, I am a pretty big Trekkie. Um, Star Trek, Star Wars, Dune, Warhammer. Those are kind of like the main ones for me that I could probably talk your ear off about for a few hours, um, if not a few days, depending on what we're talking about. Um, and so I decided that I was actually going to kind of get involved in those fandom communities. In like honor of that, I decided to participate in the McSpurk Big Bang 2024. For those of you uninitiated into like AO3 fandoms, the lingo of, of fandom communities. A Big Bang is when a bunch of writers and artists get together and make a ton of new work all centered around one character or ship or a main theme. The writers write a story, the artists do art about the story. Sometimes there are reverse Big Bangs, which is where the artists do art and then the writers pick the art that they want to write the story about. So this year, uh, I believe is the first annual McSpurk Big Bang. It's organized by McSpurk Events on Tumblr, and we've got 14 works, so that would be 14 writers and 14 artists came together to develop these works, and they're all centered around McSpurk. So, McSpurk. Star Trek is huge. The fandom itself is massive, the universe itself is massive, the characters are many, and the timelines can vary and kind of fluctuate slash converge slash diverge from each other. McSpurk is a fandom name for a ship that involves three characters that span across a few different kind of like universes um, within Star Trek. So those three characters are Captain Kirk, Spock, and Bones, who is also known as Dr. McCoy. These three characters originally showed up in the original series that was produced in the 60s. I believe the first episode came out in 1966. That is kind of credited with really birthing the fandom atmosphere and birthing what is called slash fiction, um, which we now have kind of like evolved into calling ships. But slash fiction is where you have a character and another character and you ship them. And so there's a slash in between. And one of the very first ever like well-known gay ships was Kirk slash Spock. And this is really where fan fiction got, at least in like the United States, this is really where fan fiction got its boost into a, a broader public awareness. You know, the internet wasn't a thing at the time, so you had people who would basically produce their own zines that they would print at home or in the office, whatever, and uh, distribute at co conventions. And I mean, <laughs> so much of it was gay smut. I'm sure we would be able to find some McSpurk stuff as well, although poly ships weren't as common at the time. So it's really an honor to be able to participate in a project that is kind of paying homage to those like humble beginnings of fan fiction. Um, and I'm, I'm just generally enjoying being a part of the process, being a part of the project, um, working with my artist and interacting with the other creatives in, in the community. We have like a discord server and it's, it's really very affirming and nice and just, I don't know, it's cool. Cause everybody's just all kind of cheering each other on basically. What does all of this mean? I'm giving you a lot of information and I'm not really connecting the threads. This is why I try to script my videos nowadays, but um, this is unscripted, so 
Thanks for your patience. Basically, all of this means that a little over a year ago, 28 of us got together and said, let's do this thing. And the Mixburg Events Tumblr is the person who started it, who organized the whole thing. What it's going to look like is all of our stories which by the way, vary in length. I think mine might be the shortest at a little over 10,000 words. And I think the longest, I mean, you've got some stuff that's definitely like novel or novella length. They'll all start releasing as of November 8th. I believe mine comes out November 11th and that'll be on Archive of Our Own, AO3, and on Tumblr. The primary place that you'll want to look is Tumblr because some people don't have AO3 accounts. And all you'll have to do is search the McSpurk tag and you'll see it. You'll see all the stuff. The Discord server has been buzzing quite a bit lately with just anticipation um, because we all want to see each other's stuff. You know what I mean? Like, I, I'm participating in this because absolutely I ship Kirk and Spock and Bones and like I, I want to see what other people come up with. So it'll range. Some of it will be smut. Some of it will be just kind of steamy. Some of it will be a little bit more plat platonically oriented, but it all is going to center around this particular trio. Some affectionately call them the triumvirate. In terms of uh, like universes or timelines, um, you've got the original series timeline, which is the original series that was, uh, you know, three seasons long, plus the movies that were directly after that uh, series that involved those three characters. And then you've got the alternate original series which is the newer movies that came out that have Kirk and Spock and Bones. And then you've also got some crossovers in uh, Strange New Worlds, and I think potentially Discovery as well. I actually opted to bring in a character from TNG, The Next Generation, which is the Star Trek uh, that people associate with Patrick Stewart. Actually, I'm wearing a Patrick Stewart shirt right now. <laughs> because uh, he is wonderful. I will say TNG for me is probably my favorite of all the series, like all the Star Trek series, but I have such great memories as a child watching the original series. Um, some of my favorite memories with my mom are, you know, her sitting on the couch, me sitting on the floor, and we've got the original series playing and, you know, it's just, it, it was such a wholesome experience and it definitely um, cemented my interest in science fiction at a very young age. And interestingly, you know, my parents are both, I would consider them right, right wing um, extremists. Uh, they're not quite Trumpers, like they're not quite red hat types, but they're pretty dang close. And still, we can talk about Star Trek and Star Wars. That is everything. My goodness. There we go. Now you can see me. That is everything uh, that I wanted to cover today. Uh, a quick just housekeeping note, I did end up missing uh, one day of uploading a video. I'm okay with leaving it at like that. Like, I've got so much going on in my life right now, and the fact that I've even made it this far with Vlogoween is insane. So um, I'm very excited to finally be at a point in the month where we are basically ready to uh, wrap up Vlogoween. It's been a great challenge. I've really enjoyed it. Um, I will probably not be doing this again, um, but I've got some more reflections that I'll be publishing here soon. And uh, I'm gonna finish out my videos. I'll probably finish shooting them this week. Actually, pro I have to, I have to finish shooting them this week because I am traveling. I will not be with my camera equipment and uh, I will be with my uh, two of my best friends. So, all right, well, thanks for watching. Um, oh my God. Ugh. I will see you tomorrow. Happy Vlogoween. Oh, and remember to look out for the mixed work stuff because yeah.
general well-being. I don't like this angle, so we're gonna try again. <laughs>